Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we are Wednesday, March the 20th, 2019 and here are the uh, here is the quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 19H1 or the April 2019 update. This is of course the update that is now available for Fast Ring Insiders. It has no new features. It still has a um, list of known issues so I guess you got to live with that. And of course, um, this is something that uh, we are looking forward because it still has the third build that still has no watermark. That means we're getting close to what will be RTM, and which is going to happen this month. So still the same, pretty much the same list of known issues, which is kind of interesting. And I thought we'd look at the blog post for build 18, um, 361 here. So if we look at build 18.361 blog um, and we look at, so they fixed a few things. There's still these known issues. So MicroStar apps that uh, do not update automatically can manually check for updates. Launching games that use anti-cheat still do a bug check. Creative X5 sound cards not functioning. They're waiting for creative to probably um, resolve the problem. And some uh, Realtek SD card readers are not functioning properly. So they're still looking at why it's not happening. Now, these are very limited uh, problems. Maybe the only one that I would say, the two ones that are really big, the games with anti-cheat that actually does a green screen or bug check, and the Microsoft Store apps that don't actually update unless you manually update them. So, you know, if you wanna see uh, what is the update, what are the updates for the Microsoft Store or the Windows Store, so you just uh, click the store itself and you go on the upper right corner to uh, check updates. So here we go, three dots. We uh, will do a download and updates <coughs> and uh, manually check for updates here. So these have been updated yesterday. You see mine works fine. It actually updates the apps by itself. So I'm not, I guess I'm not part of that problem. <clears throat> but apparently some of you will be. Apart from that, the install went well. The uh, I've been using it since last night and it works perfectly. has no issues, no bug check, no problems. Really have absolutely no issues whatsoever. So uh, this seems to be a very, very good build and uh, it really, really works well. So we're, uh, of course, continuing to use it. I've noticed that in the um, comments that I get from most of the users, it seems that most of you are actually having a good experience. It's working well. The operating system is stable. And uh, of course, there's a few uh, builds for slowing now. So and some cumulative updates. So I guess they're fixing whatever is left in the issues. And I guess we're going to have a good build and a good April 2019 update. I hope so. So um, I mostly wanted to talk about, you know, the known issues that was left and um, also Talk about how the experience for most people seems to be a good one on this build. So we're roughly a week away maybe from uh, RTM. <clears throat> I wonder if they could RTM with some of these issues. For example, uh, maybe the creative X5 sound cards, you know, stuff like that, that are third party drivers that they probably need. I would guess could be, um, you know, something that they could still be left in the builds. When they issue new versions of Windows, it happens sometimes that there's still a couple of bugs, but they just leave them there because they're not, you know, bugs that affect everybody, but very specific hardware. Um, maybe they could even, you know, issue this and basically say, well, you know, these machines we know are okay. We're going to hold back on who is still not upgradable due to some problems. So uh, they often do that and they can do that actually with uh, some of the... Uh, the uh, updates and some computers and bills that are available out there. So, of course, we'll be checking that as we go through. But I would think we're very, very close to um, an RTM uh, with uh, this build. Of course, today we're Wednesday. Might have a skip ahead, so uh, that's not impossible. There might be, of course, another fast ring either tomorrow or Friday. That also is something to check out for. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.